fungi. So let's dive deep and know what these microorganisms are. The first one is bacteria. And the bacteria are single cells. They are organisms that only need one cell to become an individual that can work alone. And they are prokaryotic proteins. The fake nucleus are not true nucleus. The genetic material, which is actually the chromatin material, is actually suspended in the center of the cells, mostly in the center of the cells, bacterial cells, and it doesn't have coating. And the bacteria now can be beneficial and can be harmful. We all know there can be a bad side and a good side to everything in this world, just as the light and shadow. Example is Asterichia coli, that is E. coli, the short term. If you are going to be a scientist, be a one that is actually one, means they have to know the scientific name. Actually, I'm asking too much from you. The Learning the scientific name is actually pretty difficult. Even I don't know, I just have to remember the main ones and then go to the Google for the complex ones. So actually, Escherichia coli is a pretty common bacteria, so make sure to remember its name. These are commonly found in the intestine. Whose intestine are we talking about? It's the intestine of humans. And they don't harm us. Actually, they are good bacteria. They produce vitamin K for our body, which our body cannot produce on its own. You have to remember that everything you see has been gone through under microscope. The first two photographs, these are the microscopic pictures and the other one is the animation. This is how E. coli looks. Since bacteria comes in multiple shapes, like it can be spare and it can be common, 